My friend's coming right now. <laughs> I'm going to show you how to socialize a guard dog. Or how I socialize my guard dog. This is my female kind of corso guard dog, Miss B. And they are known to be aggressive and territorial. And could be a liability if you don't know what you're doing. Owning this breed made me understand the importance of training and leadership. And this is how I introduce her to a new friend. So basically, I don't want to correct her right away when she barks because she's just doing her job. You know, she's a protective, she's a guard dog. So that's what she does. After she barks, she goes all crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna tell my friend to step back. Step back real quick, Derek. How you doing, bro? And then I'm gonna take her outside and I'm gonna let her, I'm gonna introduce Miss B to my friend, let her smell him, let her know that we're friends. And she'll be able to know just by the conversation that I have with him. She'll feel the vibe. But you also notice that she's still kind of on her toes because with Corsos, it, it takes a while for them to to trust somebody, even though, you know, they, they see that you guys are friends, they're still weary. And they still, you know, they're not, 100% like welcoming. They don't let anybody just pet them. They're more reserved. <laughs> Step back real quick, Derek. How you doing, bro? Huh? You never seen it? Yeah, bro, it's decked out on my bed there, and uh... I saw you do your van shit, but I never saw you that, that little other fucking truck. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just let her smell you. So just stand still. At this point, Miss B has been properly introduced, but it doesn't mean she still won't bite him. So I make sure to tell my friend that once we go into the bus, do not make long eye contact and do not make any sudden moves towards me. You must be very careful of what you do and the tone of your voice. So we get to the basketball courts and I tie Miss B to a pole. Miss B hardly goes on a tie out, so she's out of her comfort zone. At one point, her legs start to shake and also tries to bite the leash to set herself free. No, no, don't do that. This is all signs that she isn't confident in the situation she is in. So the best way for her to get over her fears is to face it. After a few minutes, she starts to realize that it isn't so bad being tied out. Nothing is bothering me and my owner is just within eyesight. After about 30 minutes of her being tied out, I took her out for a short bike ride as a reward. Let's give it up for the best cameraman of the year. After our short bike ride, I ran into a guy who has 11 month old male corso and this is how it went. I found. What's his name again? Bucky. Man, this is Bucky. Look at Bucky. Oh my God! 11 months old. Yeah. He's probably what? One, 110? Uh, 125. Woo! Boy's big. Are you all right with that, Miss B? <laughs> this is the owner, right? What's your name? Uh, Zay. Zay. That's right. It's nice to meet you. Zay. This is your first course, though. Yeah. Okay. So how's it like so far? Oh, I love it. I want to get another ride. Ooh, boy. My baby. Hey, what's up? Before I let Miss B meet the other dog, 
I made sure to evaluate the dog to see how his temperament was. The dog is just 11 months old and still had his puppy personality, so I felt like it was safe for them to meet and play together. If there's one thing I want you guys to take from this video, it's to take your dog out to the world let your dog experience new sights, sounds, and situations. It's important for your dog to go out there and see the world for what it is. Teach your dog to not be afraid. Teach your dog to meet people. Teach your dog to be tied out and not be in chaos. Teach your dog to get along with other dogs.